This is example number two uh, on the form type of generator, which is formed as a short shunt. There are two type of compound generator we know that one is short shunt and one is long shunt. There, are, there is a very slight difference between them. Uh, coming to the shunt type of short shunt type of generators, uh, the formula which we have to find Eg. Eg is equals to Vt plus Ia Ra drop plus of I series drop multiplied by R series. What is what? Vt is the terminal voltage, this is a drop across the armature resistance and this is a drop across the series voltage, uh, series uh, winding. Since it is short sound, short circuit. So first of all, before going into the uh, question, we will discuss this question and before doing that, we will uh, make a diagram of this question so that the uh, uh, question is simplified. Like that, this diagram over here so that we have space. <clears throat> this is my generator. <sighs> I have my terminal voltage is 250. I have RA as 0 0.05, which is here only. RA is equals to 0 0.05, which is coming into this only in the generator only. EG. I have a series resistance of 0 0.025 and I have a <coughs> shunt resistance as 100 ohm this is the picture of my short shunt now According to the formula, this is a terminal voltage. To find the EG, I need to have the first of all the load current because I A is equals to I shunt plus I load current. So load current I A I can find by since the machine is of uh, two in kilowatt and the terminal voltage is given to us that is 20 into 100 sorry 1000 divided by 250 <coughs> plus load current would be 80 amperes now I need to find the voltage drop across this series resistance because series resistance uh, um, voltage drop is also added in the EG. This is terminal voltage. Don't con get confused with this terminal voltage is not here actually. This terminal voltage is from here to here. This is the terminal voltage apart from this place. This is the terminal voltage. Before that some other voltage would be there. So for terminal voltage, so we need to find the voltage drop across the this and I found IL over here. Oh, yeah. So therefore voltage drop across 
series binding will be equal to so, this current I n which is 80 here and 0 0.025 80 into 0 0.025 this will be equal to uh, 2 volts so I found this now I have to find I A R A so for I A R A I need to find the I S H I S H plus I L will give me the I A and R is already given so I will be able to find the voltage across, across the armature so before that we, I have to find the voltage across the field so that I will be able to uh, know the ISH is equal to V by RSH so I need to have the voltage across the shunt V binding again this voltage is not here this voltage is this plus this voltage so voltage across here V series and V terminal voltage would give me the total voltage across the field binding so therefore V S H shunt will be equal to this voltage of which is 250 volts plus of the voltage across the series binding which is 2 volts this will come out to be 252 volts so now I can find ISH by this formula ISH is equal to VSH upon RSH VSH is already given now we found the VSH that is 252 volt and R shunt is given by 100 ohm so 252 divided by 100 will give me 22.52 amperes I will get 2.52 amperes so I got I SH is equal to 2.52 amperes now I can find I uh, A I got I SH also I got I L also so I A is equal to I L plus I SH so how much it is I L is already given that is 80 amperes plus I shunt is also given that is 2.52 amperes this will be 82.52 amperes so now I can find EG which is very easy now EG is equals to terminal voltage is given as 250 volts plus of IA R drop IA is your 82.5 to multiply the resistance is RA is given to you that is 0.05 ohm plus of I series into R series which is voltage across the series winding which is 2 volts so I will be finding EG as 256.125 256.125 volts uh, there is a slight difference between uh, the question so we should remember first of all in there whenever there is a difficult question the way the difficult questions are done in, in a reverse manner in the same way which I did right now I found since EG was supposed to be found so I wrote, wrote the, the basic formula for EG of short shunt which is EG is equals to VT plus IARA plus R I series into R series so I found that VT is already given to me R is also given to me R series also given to me I was supposed to find I series this was first unknown 
and I was supposed to find R, uh, this one thing, this was also the second unknown. So, for I series, I did in this manner, and for IA, I, IA is very easy to find, and I found uh, ISH and uh, IL. I found IL by this way, and I found shunt resistance, uh, sorry, shunt uh, current by this way. I found the armature current as IL to ISH. I I put the value of IA and I series and I got the PG. This is the way difficult questions are done. So that step by step, rather than uh, getting confused in the questions, you should understand what is, is asked in the question. Any question can be done in a reverse manner, when it is a numerical, uh, that what is to be found. And from that, uh, what are the things which are hidden, we will find those and we will be able to do the question. So this is the one way of uh, doing the difficult questions.